Welcome to LSU's Tiger Stadium after dark, an environment unlike any other in sports. Very intimidating for visitors. As they say, this is where visitors' dreams come to die. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Ole Miss Rebels, taking on the winners of five straight, the LSU Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler. Here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Start us off. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. The Tigers offense making their way on the field to open this game. Here we go. You can feel the juice in this building. What a privilege, Kirk, to be part of this rivalry game. Well, there's nothing like rivalry games. You know, no matter what you've done all year, you get your opportunity to win this game today, and it can change everything. Caught over the middle. It's Hilton. And look at the speed there. They finally bring him down, but it's a nice game. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. He's found some room at the 45. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield at the 48. First down to 10. Grab behind the line, it's Daniels. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Offense getting set, it's second down. Here's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Oh, and he dropped it over the middle in some traffic there. Now brings up third down. We come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Bringing pressure. And a senior making a disruptive impact play. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time, allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with the first sack of the game. And the punt team Number makes its three. way onto the field. On He's on to boot it away now. That takes a big bounce and rolls all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So the Ole Miss Rebels offense takes the field. Our first chance to see them today. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact players for today's game and how they're going to affect the outcome. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your team. Tackle made after a solid game. They'll spot the ball for 31. The Rebels hustle to the line to crank up the tempo. On first down, why not keep it on the ground? Solid game, moves the ball to the 36. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. Scanning the field, it's dark. Looking for the wideout. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Here's a shot toward the right sideline. Catch made down inside the 10. And the Rebels will line up now. It's first and goal. Here's the snap, looking to throw here. Grab behind the line, it's Harris. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball to the six. Defense getting pushed back. Looking to score, they'll run it to the right side. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. That play sets up a third and goal from the five now.
Quarterback drops back. Running out of time in the pocket. They got him. Defense comes up with a sack. Nothing tells you more about a defense's personality than when they get tested like this. Facing a first and goal all the way to third and goal, you come up with a sack, relentless attitude. Now let's see what they decide to do on fourth and goal. Coach elects to try for three points and sends out the field goal unit. This try is no good. With that miss, the score remains the same. Now that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. Poor kicker. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. Off from the shotgun. Looks like a player is down injured at that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check it out. Second down after that run on the previous play. To throw, it's Nussmeyer. Running back has it on a screen now. They finally get him down, but a solid gain in that screen pass. Good call there. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. They'll run it here. And they'll stop him short of the line to gain. Offense getting set. Second down play here. They'll give it to the back. And he's tackled right at the 40-yard line. The offense now looking at a third and short on their own 40, trying to keep this drive going. Can he get there on the ground? And the play goes nowhere. Picked up about a yard, but it'll be fourth down. Special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. With the return, it's Watkins. Returner tackled right there. That's where they'll start the drive. And the Ole Miss offense is back out on the field. The last drive was a little demoralizing. They stalled and then missed a field goal. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And the Rebels will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. Back's got it again. Stopped short on the marker after just a short game. They're backed up here trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Defense is coming after him. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. Interesting call here by the defense in their dime set with six defensive backs. Instead of manning up and applying pressure on the receivers, they sit back. Make it tougher on the quarterback. Make him have to read their zone coverage. He gets confused and it allows the defensive line to get to the quarterback. The Rebels will bring their punt team onto the field. It's a rough series for the offense, and now he's on to punt it away. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And that mighty Bengals offense is back out on the field. The last time, they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. To the ball placed right at midfield as the offense starts with a first and ten. And the quarterback keeps it here. And the tackle is made after a four-yard game, so second and six. Hands it off on the counter. I tried to use this stiff arm there, but the defense corrals him quickly. Third down coming up after that running play. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. A bit too far away to trust a field goal attempt. The offense on the field on fourth down. To the air, it's Nussmeyer. Big tight end. He's got it, and that is enough for a first down. 
They've got him, but they convert on fourth down, and the drive keeps going. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Looking for the tight end, and it's caught. He's tackled, but down at the nine-yard line. Defense getting pushed around. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag. Doesn't get it. Brings up third down. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play. Touchdown or field goal. On third down, it's a handoff. And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown by you Bengals. Chris, we get so caught up in this era of the spread, of throwing the football and the quarterback and the receivers. This is a great example of the value of having a running back that has a nose for the end zone and can take it in for a touchdown. They'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. And it's 7-0 after the BAT. Now they get set to kick it away. Bringing it out, it's Watkins. He's tackled at the 17, so it would have been better to leave it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Rebels offense back out on the field. They're coming off a quick Three and out, so looking to put something together. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. LSU for years has played a one-gap defense and loves to pin their ears and get upfield. It's a risky defense, and it requires great athleticism on the defensive line, something that they've had forever. Great sack here to keep that tradition alive. But you think back over the years, Booger McFarlane and Marcus Spears and Glenn Dorsey and off the edge, Kiki Mingo, just so many great LSU defensive lineman that can get after that quarterback. It's LSU on top as we take a break for the quarter. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. They've flipped ends of the field. We're ready now for the second period. Pass protection, a serious issue. Another sack makes it second and long. The shotgun running play call. And the defense able to hold him there to a short game. And this crowd coming to life here, trying to help the defense get a stop with the offense pinned back. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Pressure is coming. Sacked, it's a loss back to the six. I mean, that's another sack, Chris. I mean, we're just getting started here. First half, and you're already talking about giving up three sacks. You've got to think about changing things up schematically, help that offensive line, and help that poor quarterback before he gets killed. And the Rebels will bring their punt team onto the field. We're going to kick it away for the second time. And the ball is away from inside the 10. And here's the return now from midfield. Touchdown, Tigers! The special teams making a huge impact. An electrifying play, Kirk. He was just a better athlete than the guys trying to stop him on that coverage team. Boy, that was a thing of beauty by this returner. But let's also not forget the blocks. The key blocks there that set this return up and eventually got him into the end zone. But they try to add the lead now with the PAT. With the extra point, the lead is 14. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Fields it just outside the goal line. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the Rebels offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. 
There's contact on the throw. And it's incomplete, even in a first down throw. He was under some heavy pressure. Incomplete, so it's second down in town. Makes a quick grab. And remember, the last time these teams met, it came right down to the wire. Well, Chris, there's so many great rivalry games that we all look forward to every single year. But with these two teams, it just always seems to be a tight matchup. And they'll stop him just short the mark. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's four down. And they'll kick it away here. The fair catch made at the 25-yard line. And here comes the offense back out on the field now. Takes the handoff. It's Williams. Five-yard gain, so it's second and five. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. And he'll just lob this pass into the middle of the field. And the deep shot falls incomplete. But wait, there is a flag on the play. So we'll check that out. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. To throw, it's Nussmeyer. Wow, back-to-back -back deep shots. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. And a big gain moves the ball across midfield all the way to the 39. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. Well, Kirk, you played in rivalry games. No shortage of inspiration, but how do you manage the emotion of it all? Well, I think you need great leadership from the team. Sometimes teams don't handle the emotions of it, and the game can get sideways on you. The teams that play the best in rivalry games are the teams that have the best leaders to keep them focused on the task at hand. QB decides to keep it here. And the defense able to stop him at the two. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Ball handed off. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. This LSU offense is moving quickly down the field. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. Breaks the tackle to get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Come out, second down and goal. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Third down and goal. Big play coming up here in the red zone. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. They trap him and sack him back at the 10. Chris, third down here, they throw the football, which I have no problem with down inside this 10-yard line. But the big thing is the quarterback has got to do a better job working through his progressions to give himself a chance. The last thing he wants to do is take a sack, and now they're facing fourth down. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. Set to kick it off. They'll return it from inside the 10 yard line. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. And the Ole Miss offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? He shreds the tackle. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. And the Rebels looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Offense keeps moving. It's a completion for a first down. Dropping back. It's dark. He's running out of time here. Receiver makes the catch. Brought down, but crosses midfield to the 46. 
This offense has gotten going at long last. It's another first and ten. Man, I love that they continue to go back to this talented wide receiver. That's back-to-back -back plays with big gains, and it's not surprising. Like I said, the scouting report all week long, we heard about this guy's ability to make plays against this defense and the quarterback and the receiver right now have a nice rhythm going. Second down after that run on the previous play. Takes the handoff again. The Rebels pick up enough yardage for a fresh set of downs. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? An inside give now from the shotgun. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Now it's second down here. Second down. It's a shotgun run call. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Looking to set up a screen pass here. They make the stop just short of the marker. It's going to be fourth down and inches to go. And the Rebels will come to the line here, looking to keep the drive going on fourth down. Here we go, fourth down. They'll try to run for it. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Here we go. Force and goal. A touchdown here gets him right back into this game. Quarterback keeps the football. And they're just able to get him down at the one. So close. A solid first down gain sets the ball up close to the goal line. And they finish it off here on second and goal. And they'll step out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage there. The defense pursuit forced him out. Great job for the defense so far. It's third and goal from a long way out. Looking to throw. It's dark. The pocket breaking down. And the freshman able to get home with the sack. I can't believe the amount of pressure this defense is getting on this quarterback. Sack after sack. Well, you've got to think about changing things up. The snap count the scheme, anything at all to help this offensive line. They're overmatched so far in this game. Oh, and it lands at the four and bounces in for a touchback. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. This offense has been clicking so far. But they get aggressive, go for more before halftime. And he floats this pass deep down the right side. And the ball is picked off. And they bring him down. Great play by the defense, but there is a flag That's on the fair, field. Fair. Let's see if the play stands. So that is a call to remember. The interception wiped away by a pass interference penalty. And looking to throw now on first down. Down he goes. A sack. Well, that's the kind of play right there that this defense has been looking for. Maybe that'll spark them because, let's face it, this game has not gone the way they had hoped. But a play like that sometimes can create some momentum and change the complexion of the football game. This pass rush has been a problem. Another sack sets up second and long. They're going to run it here. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down marker. Now the offense will spend a timeout here, wanting to come up with a perfect call on this important play coming up. The pass rush. Nowhere to go. The ball knocked loose. They scoop up the ball. It's still a live play here. Tried to use his legs to make the first down. Couldn't get there. And now it's a fourth down call. Timeout is called and Tuck's strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. Oh, it landed at the seven and bounced into the end zone for a touchback. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. Back to pass. It's dark. Bringing pressure. He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Pass protection, a serious issue. Another sack makes it second and long. It's pulled in completion on a diving catch. And the 
Rebels hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Third down, quarterback in the shotgun. Running out of time in the pocket. They pressure him and get him. Couldn't get a throw away, and that'll be the final play of the first half. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. The kickoff team out there now to get the second half underway. And he takes this from inside the five. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. And the powerful Old Miss offense is back out on the field. Off the play fake on first down. Defense is coming. And he's going to float this one to the right side. That one is incomplete. Took a downfield shot on first down, but missed it. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? And now they run the draw play. They'll tackle him at the 27. Urgency now for the offense. They'd hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. Looking downfield, it's dark. And they'll loft this one deep to the left side. Downfield shot falls incomplete. Couldn't quite connect there. The Rebels will have to punt this one away. On to kick now for the fifth time today. And here's the fair catch by the return man. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. And they'll run it. Hand it off to the running back. They stop him after a six-yard gain. So second and four. They're going to run it. Matt gets the carry. The stop made at the 45, but enough for a first down. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. The back's got it. And he stopped after gaining four yards, so second to six. Empty backfield, offense spreading the field with five wide. Second down, we're going to throw it. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. And it's incomplete on a very risky throw in the end zone. After the incompletion, they'll face a third and six. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. They've got him. It's a sack for the defense. Well, another sack. You know, as the offensive coordinator, you're ahead in this game. Maybe you should change the game plan to help your quarterback a bit. This pass rush has gotten home way too many times, and you should focus more on preserving the lead. Punt team ready to boot Number it away. In punt formation to kick it away. Oh, it landed at the eight-yard line, but a lucky bounce into the end zone for a touchback. And the Rebels' offense is back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. And the Rebels come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. 
And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Offense right to the line, cranking up the tempo. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And the Rebels will bring their punt team on the field now. Forced to kick it away for a sixth time. No fair catch. Looking to make a return here. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain on the return. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Running with purpose. That's a solid gain there, showing off the stiff arm. Second down play coming up. And here's the handoff. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. They'll try to run for the first down. Stopped right there at the line. No gain. The offense already has one fourth down conversion. Can they do it for a second time? Back to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Let's it fly out of the wideout. Intercepted, picked off by the defense. Look out, he's got some space. Out past the 30. Crosses the 10. Touchdown, Ole Miss. And the defense joins the party with a pick six. How about the risky call here by this offense? I love that they're going for it on fourth down. Not so sure about the play call. The defense was not fooled at all. Steps in front of this throw for a nice touchdown. Now the important point after attempt. PAT makes it a 17-7 game. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. LSU, 17, Ole Miss, 7. And here's the return from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. They're trying to recover from that last possession. They had things going, but then a pick six. A devastating play. they got to recover from that right now. And he's brought down after a big first down gain. It's second and short. Maybe an opportunity, Kirk, to take a shot here. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. The gain is good enough for a first down near the 38. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. So second down after the incompletion. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Pressure is coming. On the junior gets home, making a sack there. If I'm on this offensive line, I would not want to look at the game film after their performance today. It's almost like they've been moonwalking backwards the entire game, getting pushed all around by this defensive front. Chris, they've already given up six sacks alone in this game. Tough spot. The offense has to convert a third and long from the 30 to get this drive going. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. He's going to pull it down and run. Quarterback gets down to avoid the big hit. The punt team making their way on the field. On the kick now for the fifth time today. On the return, it's Watkins. Oh, he's got a crease here. Look out. They finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. Keeping it on the ground here. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Caught behind the line. It's Harris. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. The Rebels looking to crank up the tempo a bit. And he'll drop back here on third down. Going to try to use his legs here. 
first down pickup tackled at the 45. And the Rebels come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. These are the kind of plays that keep defensive coordinators up at night. You spend so much time putting your plan together to stop the pass, and then nobody accounts for the quarterback on a run. Well executed. He finds space and gets the first down yardage. And the Rebels are moving quickly down the field. It's really good timing here between the quarterback and the receiver. And how about the receiver downfield? Does a nice job of finding that open space in the zone of the defense. And as a defense, you're just basically throwing your hands up in the air because they had that covered relatively well. Just a good play call and good execution. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain in that play. The Rebels are in the red zone. Dropping back. It's dark. Looking to the end zone. And it's incomplete, targeting a man right near the goal line. And the crowd coming to life here, trying to help this defense down in the red zone. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. A chance to get right back into this football game. It's first down and goal. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Pass caught. Can he get in? And he will score. Touchdown, Rebels. That's a crucial score. Let's see if they can build momentum and complete this comeback. Well, I know they're still trailing, but that score is a great first step in trying to break down this lead. You don't want to leave it all to the fourth quarter when the pressure really intensifies and you have limited time. Now here comes the point after attempt. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. They'll return it from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. They were forced to punt it last time. Now they're looking to respond and add to this lead. Grab down the middle. It's Lacey. Pass complete. It's second down now. Handoff running right. Breaks loose at the 40. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. The offense really clicking against this battle defense. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. Looks like he didn't get the snap off in time. That'll cost him five yards. Delay of game, game, game. game. Offense. Offense. Quarterback unaware of the play clock. That'll cost them five. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Caught in the backfield. It's Hilton. The defense drops him for a loss. He went backwards there. A second down behind the sticks now. Second and they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. Breaks loose at the 40. Tackle is finally made, but an explosive gain. They'll move it down 23-yard line. The offense really clicking here. That puts him over 150 yards today. Kirk, we knew he was going to be a focus coming in, but he has backed up the hype and then some. Yeah, he sure has, Chris. I mean, all year long, he's been a dynamic playmaker. I'd argue one of the top in the entire country. And now, in a rivalry game, to be able to do this, boy, it says a lot about it. They bring him down, but that's enough for a first down as the clock runs down here in the third quarter. And as we take a break, we take a quick look at how the national rankings stack up with the chase for those playoff positions. One quarter to 
go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. So it's first and goal. The offense will try to milk the clock and add points if they can. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. They move back to the four for second and goal. They'll run it from the gun. Couldn't quite get there. Brought down at the two. And they cut into this lead now on third and goal. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, LSU. Man, that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield, or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. Kicking team out for the PAT try. Extra point, up and good. A double-digit lead now here in the fourth quarter. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. And the Ole Miss offense is back out on the field. He'll hand it off. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. After the loss on first down, it's second and long from the 22. Same tailback, another carry. Running through the tackle. They're gaining some breathing room now. Tackle at the 26. And the Rebels will come to the line to crank up the tempo. Looking downfield, it's dark. And he cannot escape the defense with a sack. And the punt team now on to kick it away. Oh, and he's got some space here. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. And the offense makes its way onto the field, hoping for a successful drive. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Getting set. Here's second down. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. That's caught. It's Daniels. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. The offense is clicking, and the defense just searching for answers now. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. That completion makes it second and medium. Look at it, chuck it again. Grab behind the line, it's Daniels. Defense finally brings him down, but a nice chuck play. They can put the game away right here. It's first and goal. They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Offense facing second and goal. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Tackled after the catch, but the ball moves to the four-yard line. He moves the ball to the four. It's third down and goal. Looking to pass. It's Nussmeyer. He's running out of time here. So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. This one is right through. And they add to the lead. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. team is out there now. Returner decides to field it. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the Rebels offense back out on the field. Are coming off the three and out. Looking to produce a positive drive here. 
trying to create here on the move. Oh, downfield catch made on the left side. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Hey, it's a nice way to start this drive off, but they've got a long way to go to be able to get this ball in the end zone. Then they got to get the ball back and score again. So positive yards, but doing it quickly is key. And the Rebels hustle to the line to run that hurry up. Looking for some space, it's Bentley. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. That run sets up a critical third down play. Try and muscle for the first down. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. Fourth down, looking to throw for it. Quarterback looking to scramble. Slides down to avoid the tackle. The Rebels are on the move here. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but, man, make the play. Bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. Short connection to the tight end here. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. And the Rebels have first and ten here. The tight end drag route is the perfect option for an offense, looking to scheme that position open for some yardage. Perfect execution here for a first down. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. Here's the second down play. Play action fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. And they'll give it to the back. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. So down by multiple possessions here. The offense will try to convert here on fourth down. Looking to pass. It's dark. The pocket breaking down. Breaks free. No, they stopped him short. The defense with a big fourth down play to protect this lead late in the game. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Brought down after picking up five yards, so second and five. And he'll set up to throw. Oh, and he almost had it. A chance for a momentum-changing interception. Does bring up third down. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Looking to scramble now. They get him down, but that's a good run. Enough to move the six and keep this drive going. Offense goes to the pistol formation now. Hand off to the back. They'll keep the clock moving. Solid game moves the ball to a 43. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the same runners got it again. The defense all over it. They stop him right at the line. And that's the two-minute warning. This offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. They'll try to pick up the third down yardage on the ground. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. First down here for this offense. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Fires it to the wideout. He's got his man in the open field. He stopped him at the 45, but that's good for a first down. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. To throw. It's dark. There's a wide open receiver complete. And the offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. The offense will set up on first and ten. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. 
Caught over the middle. It's Bentley. And he's tackled after the catch. They'll have to hurry now. Second down with the clock ticking. Looking to throw it again. The pass rush closing in. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. They get to the line in a hurry here for this third down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Looking for his big tight end. Oh, and he can't quite hold on. A great chance for their first interception here today. But it's going to bring up fourth down. And the quarterback dropping back. There's a shot toward the end zone. And the pass is incomplete. A crucial misfire here late in the game. And the ball will turn over on downs. And it's a kneel down. There might not be a sweeter feeling in college football if you walk off the field knowing that you have taken care of business and beaten a rival. Nothing better than that. That's one of the feelings that you'll never forget. For everyone in this program who supports this team and played on that football field, they'll never forget this win. A well-earned victory and bragging rights until they play again. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.